1970s lang lang dito. Ah? Early 80s. Uh, and I'm uh, glad to see that MRDC has you for a lot. Ayun, um, I'm also glad that, uh, of course, the media are very active in uh, engaging with uh, the DOST uh, for this uh, particular technology on uh, which we consider advanced technology. Uh, this is uh, something new for us, for the Philippines. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you will have lots of questions. Where is you? And of course, the group from UP, uh, led by uh, Louis Sison, who will make this really uh, fly. Kasi nasa kanya yung nakasalalay, yung kanyang UP Enterprise, the technology business incubator. And of course, uh, a Latin cooperator uh, uh, who is very much qualified to enter into this kind of uh, business. Okay, um, let me just siguro share you a brief of my history. Uh, sabi nga nila, I am ARDC ako nung dati. When I first entered MIRDC, nag-apply ako for uh, heat treatment engineer. Ang tanong sa akin, ano bang alam mo, marunong ka bang magpatigas at magpalangkot ng bakal? Okay, sabi ko, yes sir. So that started my career as heat treatment engineer. So yung heat treatment is really an important part of the, kung hindi pala, part of uh, metal working after metal working, Paggawa na yung bakal, according to its sheet, intended use, hindi pa yan pwede yung basta-basta gamitin kasi medyo malambot dyan. Or, on the other hand, medyo matigas. Kaya pinapalambot o pinapatigas, nitimplahan ang bakal. That's my work 20 years, 15 years ago. <laughs> and uh, after that, pagkatapos na matimpla ng harness ang bakal, meron pa ang final touch. That's the surface coating. Alam natin bakal, pagka walang surface coating, it may corrode, maaaring mag-operate in the, due to sa certain contact with certain, the, the environment in general. Ang surface coating is an important part of uh, metals processing. And that's the focus of this technology as I understand.